Hi everyone, I'm Elisa Lamore from New Pollution Designs, and welcome back. Today I'm doing a viewer request, it's by Land of Narnia, and she was asking if I could do a look with matte shadows and just give some tips and tricks. So I did a very um, appropriate 60s smoky eye for the office, and I think that anybody of any eye color and in any situation can wear this look. I'm also uh, wearing a peach cheek and a nude lip. You can use whatever that you want. In the video, I show you that I'm using copper plate, handwritten, and blanc type for my matte shadows, but you can use any color that you want. I hope that's helpful, and I hope you get some tips from it, and take care and see you next time. Enjoy the video. To begin with, I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm placing it on both of my lids, just the upper lid, and I am rubbing it completely in from lash line to brow bone. Tip number one, add a base shadow in your skin tone to the entire eye. This helps the matte shadow blend much easier. I'm using Mac Blanc type eyeshadow on a large fluffy brush and I'm taking that from lash line to eyebrow. This will ensure that your matte shadows have an easier time blending as we move along in this tutorial. Now I'm going to be using Max Copper Plate Eyeshadow. And this is a brown gray color for those that are interested. But a brown or a gray will look nice in this look. Tip number two pack more eyeshadow on your brush than you think you need. The more you have, the less patchy the outcome. I'm using a flat brush. I'm packing more on my brush than I think I would normally need. And I'm patting all along. I'm looking for an even application. Tip number three, pat the eyeshadow on the lid. Don't try to blend until you have an even amount of color. As you can see here, on both eyes, I am patting all of the color on to create an even base before any sort of blending occurs. Continue to pat until you get the coverage that you are looking for. Tip number four, once color is fully on lid, begin to blend and then blend some more. I'm using a fluffy brush for this and I'm blending. I'm starting with the edges and blending out. I'm not really blending on top of the lid because that's the way I want the color to look. But I've kept this in here because I want you to see I'm blending, blending, and blending. Now I'm taking a matte brown shadow. This is Max Handwritten. And on the same fluffy brush, I'm adding it into the outer crease. It's easier to add an out outer crease color once you have a base all over your lid. Because now this is the third shadow going on top, it's much easier to blend across the eye. But don't get me wrong, I'm still blending. And blending and checking. And then you will see, I'll be blending what? Yes, some more. And if you have a hooded eye, like I do, raise your eyebrows at first so that way you can get into the crease area. But at a certain point, you want to relax your eye and raise it above so that you create a nice um, shadow effect. This is Max Blanc type again, and I'm using it with a large brush as my highlight. As you can see, I'm cleaning up all the edges with this highlight. It's a good way to soften all edges that are too harsh. Tip number five, add extra shadow where needed to achieve an even or blended look. So don't be afraid to get back in there and repat down what you need. Did you blend too much? Is it still a little too patchy? Go ahead and add more and keep blending and blending. 
Matte shadows have a beautiful effect, but you do have to work a bit for them, so don't be alarmed if you have to keep going back and blending till you achieve the look that you enjoy. So here is where we're at so far. And this is Milani's Liquify Metallic Eyes Brown Eyeliner. It's a dark brown. And I'm slightly pulling back on my eyelid and creating a thin eyeliner look. I eventually did add a little bit of black on top, just so you know, because I wanted a black-brown effect. And here we are now. I'm using the Shuimura Eyelash Curler, and I'm curling both of my lashes. Here I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, and this ends our tutorial.